In this video, I'm going to talk about agent scripts within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now, agent scripts are a part of a guided customer interaction process. Now, agent scripts, uh, for time being, you can assume that it's kind of a uh, script which agents needs to follow to execute some specific action. Now, agent scripts provide guidance about the steps which an agent need to undertake when a customer raises an issue. It's mainly towards uh, setting some sort of a process within your organization to have some sort of standardized uh, uh, actions which will be taken by all the agents, okay? So it's providing some consistency uh, around the organization for resolving an issue. Now, this agent scripts is mainly used when an agent has a mandate to share company endorsed information. So if company says that if uh, an issue happens, then uh, you need to do these, this action and you need to share these documents. You know, this is like all endorsed by the company. So it is all published by the company and you need to resolve and uh, uh, use those information only to solve the problem. Now, the advantage of that is it brings a consistency to all the agents responses and at the same time agent also need not remember those uh, diverse steps to resolve a specific issue okay or maybe it brings some sort of a consistency around the process like when you start a case you need to greet the customer and then when you end the case you need to say thank you and you need to share some uh, say knowledge articles or you know uh, ask for some survey related questions or those kind of things so it's a, a two-way street i'd say it benefits organization as well as it benefits an agent as well now agent scripts is composed of agent script steps so if you have an agent script then definitely that agent script will have number of agent script steps now every step is identified with an actionable icon okay now it's an uh, like an actionable item, I'd say. Uh, you can assign agent scripts in the session template. Agent script steps can be of two types, can be of multiple types, I'd say. Uh, one is text, macro, agent scripts. Now uh, text, uh, I'm going to demonstrate that in this session. Uh, macro, I'm going to take that in an, another session. Uh, so how, how does the screen looks like? Okay, so if you see here, uh, agent see. scripts, Now here, uh, these are the agent script settings which you can see. Uh, now it is available in the admin center. So you need to go into agent scripts. Uh, and then from that agent scripts, you can generate a new agent script. And agent script has uh, a step basically. Okay, so this is the agent script step. And once you have the steps defined, this is how the end result will look like. So you have an agent script and agent script has multiple steps defined over here. Action type, text, script, all those kind of things. Now, how, where do you add those agent script is like you put that in a session template. So all the agent script goes as a part of the session template. And this is how the end result will look like. Okay, this is how the agent will see. Okay, the agent script and then the uh, steps basically and then agent can execute the action and then the step will turn green okay so let me walk you through that in action now if you see here i'm already in uh, a conversation with one of the customers okay, which is alex wilbur now uh, let me keep the conversation going okay now where does the agent script comes in okay now the agent scripts comes over here okay so if you see over here this icon uh, it's it's called as an agent scripts. Now, if I click over here, I will be able to see various agent scripts. Now, this is the agent script which is active, agent script G reset password. Now, there is an, another agent script which is agent script crash 2. I can select that and then I will be able to see the agent script as well. Now, if I select here, uh, it will say this is sum and then I need to click on say view and then once it is done, you know, like it is marked with a tick icon. Okay. Now, if I go into G reset password, imagine this is say if customer has raised a ticket to reset the password, you know, and then you need to undergo this one, two, three steps. Okay. So if I'm going through this first step, okay, 
I will see that, hey, I need to do all these things. Then I do this offline. And then once I'm satisfied with this, I'll mark this as done. So this step is done. Then I will go to reset through web. This is also some of the te text which I need to go through. Let's assume I'm done with this. I click on done. Then this is the third step. And then uh, I do the step and then I click on done. And then, yeah. So now what essentially I've done is like I've gone through some business process within my organization and I've completed all this step. And then finally I'll say uh, issue resolved. Okay. So I know in real time it is not that simple, but then uh, it at least gives you a guided approach to go through all the steps. Okay. But now the question is how to create this agent scripts. Okay, so you need to go into the admin center, uh, search admin centers and search for agent script. Okay, so under productivity agent scripts, if you go here, productivity agent scripts, then you will see uh, all the agent script which has been already been provisioned. Now, let me create a new one, agent script, and let me type that uh, for customer service uh, portal issue okay so this is the agent script and i can give some some name you know uh, some unique name say i can put any name over here i just put a unique name as gary underscore customer portal and then put some description okay so this is how you create an agent script the agent script have been created. Now agent script is related to an agent script step. So I need to create an agent script step. So let me create an agent script step over here. Now the step is, the first step is basically uh, to get portal version, okay? I'm just making some something over here, okay? And this can be any unique name which you specify the order number is one, you know, and the action type is text, macro, or script. Okay, now I'm going to only cover text over here. Okay, so text is here and the text instruction is say, uh, check portal version, check as version. And then you can define, you can put all your emojis over here, you know. Uh, uh, so if you want to put a check, you can put a check over here. And then, you know, you can do all sort of things over here as a instruction. Now you save this step, okay. Now, once you save the step, the step is save and close, and then you add an another step. So I'm just going to add one more step as an agent script step. I'll say, I'll say reset the server. Okay. And then let's put a unique name, and then the order is number two. And the action type is again, it's a text, and then I'll say reset. some just some some sort of step which will help me resolve this issue okay so now we have created a custom for customer service portal issue agent script and there are two steps agent script steps i have attached okay let me save and close all these things now you have created agent script script but where do you attach this okay so for that you need to search in admin center settings and then say say check for session templates so now session templates if you click your workspace session templates uh, these are the various session templates which is already there okay let me go to chat session default and if you see here under agent scripts okay you will see all the agent script which has been attached okay now i can add existing agent script over here okay and there is no option to create an agent script so you need to have the agent script defined beforehand so which I've already created. Now the one which we have created was something related to portal for customer service portal issue, which is available here. I select this and then I click on add and then I click on save, okay? Now here, as you see, it says this is the session template and it can't be edited, okay? So make sure that when you have your own uh, session template, which you have already created, okay? Uh, you can uh, create your own specific session template and then you can add those session template on top of it. Okay, so the chat session template default, which we have edited, will have this agent scripts defined. Okay, now this chat session default session template 
okay now let me go into say channels okay the chat channels okay now the chat channel which i'm using is a chat gerish which is attached to a chat work stream if i click on this specific work stream okay i can edit the chat channel interface okay and there are various other settings you might see over here. Now here under the advanced uh, settings, I can see that the session which is uh, used is a chat session default, okay? I click on this chat session default and then it will take me to the chat session uh, again, uh, default session template. And I can go into the agent script and again, I will land in that same screen itself, okay? So this is like the uh, three different agent scripts I have available. Okay, now where it will be available? It will be available not immediately, but then it might take a while for this, uh, you know, like uh, session to uh, update. Okay, now I'm currently in the right chat, you know, but then this might take a while sometimes, you know, it might take like five, 10, 15 minutes. And then once all this is done, you know, like you will see the three drop down value over here. Okay. And then this, uh, you can use that particular agent script for uh, for your customer as well, okay? So let me refresh for a couple of times. If it doesn't load up, then maybe I think I will uh, turn off this video, okay? So let me say, if I refresh the screen, you know, the session will end. So I don't want to do that. So I'll just type something over here. And let's see if this is persisting. So now after a while, I've seen that, you know, after refreshing the screen, um, I can see the agent script which I have created. So for customer service portal issue, and then once you select this, you will be able to see the uh, steps, uh, the steps which we have created. Now the user can follow this, uh, the agent can follow the step and then they can mark as done. And once it's done, it's marked as green and reset the server, uh, one of the steps, you, do this and then yes you can mark this as screen so uh, that's all about you know creating an agent scripts and then using that in the omni channel for customer service application for resolving your customer issues thanks for watching